Hey everybody, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to speed run the back rooms starting in level zero and going to level 100. I'm something of a backrooms pro myself, so I thought that I would educate you all on how to get through this thing as fast as possible. If that sounds cool to you, stick around because I know you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, so to my second channel where I post daily. Thank you. All right, so for this video, I have scoured all the backrooms levels from zero to 100, and I have found what I think is the best method to speed run as fast as you can to get from level zero to 100. I found two different methods that I'll go over in this video, but if you have a different path that you think is better, let me know in the comments. I'm always open to suggestions, but I think I found the two best methods, and we're going to get into it right now. So when you first get sent to the back rooms, the odds are you'll start in level zero, which is this level. Everyone knows it. This one is actually one of the only places that leads you directly to the next one as its only exit. So when you get here, you're gonna have to no clip or glitch through a wall, a ceiling, or a floor to be sent to level one, which is the next level. Now after this, you will be in level one, and this is when the real speed running begins. So when you're here, you're gonna need to run around as fast as you can to find a hallway with a hole in the wall. Now there are multiple different areas in this level with holes in the walls, and you can pick any of them, but you just gotta find one big hole and big enough to climb through. When you climb through that hole, you'll be sent to level 19. So that's the first big jump, and we're making pretty good time on this speedrun so far. So now that you're on level 19, you'll find yourself in a cramped, dusty attic space. And this attic is actually pretty hard to move around in because of all the boxes and old stuff in it. But it's actually those boxes that you need to look for. You're specifically looking for an old handheld gaming device, and these are normally in unlabeled boxes. They're pretty hard to find, but if you find one, you need to pick it up and play it, and you'll be sent to level 40. Again, that's another big jump, and we're making pretty good time. Level 40 is an old retro arcade store, and it's pretty overwhelming because of how big and expansive it is. No worries though, I got gotcha. you. What you need to be looking for is a trash can. These are pretty rare here to be honest and they only really appear at the edge of the arcade aisles, but the second you find one you need to jump into it so you can be sent to level 98. Yes we're already at level 98. I told you this was a speed run, did I not? So now you're on level 98, which is an old looking diner building with menu signs and lit up stuff that calls itself the downtown diner. In this nostalgic looking restaurant, you're gonna need to look for the bathroom sign because that's where our exit is. After you find it, just go into the bathroom and you'll be sent to level 103. And just like that, you speed ran the first 100 backrooms levels. But does it really count? Because I actually went past level 100 and we want to get directly to level 100. So now I'm going to show you the second method to get you from level 0 directly to level 100. And it's not much worse, just a little bit more complicated. So bear with me. So to do this, let's take it back to the beginning. You'll start the same, you'll be in level 0, and you'll no clip to level 1. You'll find a hole in the wall on level 1, and you'll jump through it, and you'll be on level 19, just like the other one. But here's where the first change happens. On level 19, you'll need to look for any holes in the attic's floorboard. These holes are typically glowing, but sometimes they're not, and they're kind of hard to see. But if you see one glowing, you need to jump into it and just fall down through it. And this will give you a chance of being sent to level 38. Now level 38 is a very dangerous and corrupt level, and there are two parts to it, the interior and the exterior. And the exit we're looking for is in the exterior, so you're gonna have to get out there with all the crazy stuff. You gotta find your way outside, and you're actually looking for a roller coaster to climb into. Once you find that roller coaster, you need to climb into it, and you'll be sent to a level called the Blue Channel. And the Blue Channel is a place that's located between hundreds and even thousands of of backrooms levels and it's kind of like a hub in a way i made a video fully explaining it if you're interested just like all these levels i mentioned i made videos on them if you want full explanations now in this blue channel you can float through its air because there's no gravity and in this channel you'll be able to see different levels off in the distance 
kind of like a mirage. And you can actually float or swim, I guess, to these mirages. And you only need to swim as far as you can until you see level 100 faintly off in the distance. Once you see it, you need to swim through the air to it, and then you'll be sent directly to level 100, or the silent sounds. This level is a relaxing beach level with nothing but sand and water. And maybe a deadly entity that wants to eat you when you sleep, but who cares? You made it here, you're at level 100. Good job! So that was the method to get directly from level 0 to level 100 in as fast a time as possible. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you have a different path, let me know what you did. But this is what I did. If you want to see me do more videos like this, like speedrunning level 100 to 200 or 100 to 1000, let me know. This was pretty fun to research and do. Like I said, I'll leave all my level explanation videos of levels I mentioned in this video because I've gone over them all. It'll be down below in the description if you want to learn more about them. I didn't really go over them specifically in this video because it's a speed run but i have gone over them all individually all of the exits i used were actually just in the exit sections of the levels themselves so i just found the best path but you know i did the work so you didn't have to if you're still watching the video comment speed brutally and i'll try to heart everybody's comment that i see and thank you for watching this far if you are i love and appreciate you make sure while you're down there to check out my second channel where i post every day it's a fun time over there and i think you really like it i'm trying to get to 50k by the end of the year we're so close if you could just help out i would appreciate it thank you all so much for what you do i love and appreciate all of you the channel is still growing insanely fast videos are going crazy i just i i can't express how thankful i am 2023 is going to be an insane year i literally have absurd stuff planned hope you're ready thank you for everything you do and i will see you in the next video peace and love baby